Claude has rolled out a great new feature. I think it's pretty clever if you want your outputs from AI to sound a certain way. If you want to train your AI on your writing, or if you just have different writing styles that you like to experiment with. So it's pretty easy to access this feature. You will need, of course, a professional plan for Claude to use it. Once you're logged into Claude, look for the little down arrow here, and you'll notice that you can pick how Claude should generate responses. So you can choose from normal, concise, explanatory, and formal. Now, Story Strategist is a custom style that I've created, and I'm gonna show you how you can set that up. But basically, normal are the default responses that you're gonna get from Claude. Concise are, of course, shorter responses. Explanatory is something that you might use for uh, content where you want to teach something. And formal is something that you could use for work. I'll show you how this works. So I've come up with a prompt, a very short prompt. I want Claude to draft me a social media post for LinkedIn explaining how my followers could create a lead magnet that helps them get 100 subscribers in 30 days. Now, I should say I would only ever use the outputs from Claude as a draft for a social media post. I'd still go in and put some personal experiences and takeaways. Anyway, I'm gonna select normal first so you can see what the output looks like. And Claude generates it pretty quickly. Sometimes I find it's quicker than ChatGPT. So it's given me a reasonably uh, detailed LinkedIn post that I could use. I'd probably strip out the emojis. Uh, I'd need to check the key metrics to make sure that they're relevant and I wouldn't use any hashtags, but it's certainly something that I could work with. Now let's put in the exact same prompt and this time I'm gonna pick concise. So perhaps I want to do a shorter post for LinkedIn. So as you can see, it gets straight into the how-to part of the post much more easily. Potentially, I could repurpose that for Twitter or X. So now I'm gonna take the uh, same prompt, and this time I'm gonna select uh, explanatory. So let's say I wanted to break out that LinkedIn post into perhaps a blog post, or a short blog post, or even an email for my list. Here's a draft that I could potentially use and edit. And as you can see, this is quite a bit longer and quite a bit more detailed. Uh, and we'll do one more, so here is formal. Probably wouldn't use a prompt like this for formal. You're only gonna use formal really if it's something for work uh, or something for business. Um, perhaps you're sending an email to a customer. But as you can see, there are no emojis. You know, it's using a more formal language like first and next. Very little adjectives and adverbs and no hype. Although I was surprised to see a few hashtags at the bottom of the post. Claude has also rolled out another new feature, which is quite clever. Basically, you can connect it to your Google Drive and then train Claude on any of your documents inside of Google Drive. I'll show you how this works. Here is an email that I wrote for subscribers of my email list. So it's a couple of hundred words long and it's inside of my Google Drive account, which I've connected to Claude. Now all I need to do is connect or click on the paperclip icon and then I can upload the file if it's on my desktop. But in this case, I'm gonna look for it in Google Drive. And you can see here, it appears automatically because this is the last file that I've worked on. But if it didn't appear automatically, I could just paste in the URL or search. So it's really quite intuitive and easy to use. So all I need to do is click this. And now I can put in something like summarize this document for me. Uh, and Claude will just take a moment to analyze the email that I've wrote for subscribers of my email list. Now it's gonna give me a quick summary of all of the ideas inside of this email. Turn this into five tweets. For X. Now I have five different tweets that I could potentially use if I wanted to repurpose my email as perhaps a series of social media posts. And of course, I can change the style to concise, explanatory, and so on based on the workflow that I showed you earlier on in the video. It's interesting to get these kind of outputs from Claude, but to be honest, the real value lies in training Claude on your own work so it can write like you, or so you can use it for different types of writing or content projects. So select create and edit styles and you'll see the four default options or should I say the three default options, uh, normal isn't present. Story strategist is one that I've created and I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So select create custom style. And the easiest way to do it is simply to upload five or maybe 10 examples of your own work. So simply select add writing example. Now you could describe your style and I'll cover that in a few moments, but I'm gonna select add writing example and you could paste in the content, but I've actually saved a couple of examples of my own writing to my Mac. So these are emails that I send to my email list. So it's quite indicative of my writing style. So I'm gonna select a few of these. Uh, these are emails that I know people have opened on and clicked on. They're all about four or 500 words long. So basically I'm training Claude here on about two or 3000 words of my own work. And now it's gonna describe my writing style. So it should be interesting to see what it comes up with. So Claude is just taking a moment to analyze my writing. And now it's going to describe it as 
provocative, narrative-driven communication with powerful metaphorical storytelling. Claude is certainly bigging me up here. And of course, if I'm not happy with that, I can select edit and I can make it less narrative focused or much less provocative. Uh, now, that's obviously a bit generic. So what I'd actually suggest you do is preview a couple of examples. So let's preview what a customer email would look like based on my writing style. So basically, let's say somebody bought one of my courses and then said, Brian, I'm not happy with this. I could potentially use Claude to write a response. So what would that look like? Dear valued customer, imagine your recent order as a movie scene that didn't quite go according to a script. That would certainly be a weird thing to say to a customer. So let's go back and pick something else. So I'm going to preview a product review. So now it's going to give me a product review that's written in my own style. So it's going to ask me, it's going to generate a review of some wireless headphones. And I've actually written reviews of a lot of wireless headphones over the years. So I'm interested to see what this reads like. Imagine your ears as a cinematic landscape where sound becomes an immersive journey. And then basically it goes on with this type of metaphorical descriptive language. Uh, and then obviously I could use this as a first draft or a type of writing prompt and get into reviewing my wireless headphones. Uh, so how useful this is really just does depend on what you're going to use it for. Now, clearly the Claude responses are just samples. So you actually want to use this with a prompt that you're going to write. And once you've created your custom style with Claude, you can simply select it from the drop downs. You can see here I have story strategist. So I, this is basically my writing style and I could put in a prompt, a descriptive prompt explaining what I'd like Claude to do. And it should basically output it based on my writing style. So this is a lot faster than having to do this over and over or creating custom GPTs or custom projects. If you'd rather not train Claude on your own writing style, you can of course do all of this manually. And you can also do this manually if you wanna train Claude on other types of writing. So basically you're gonna start by defining the objective for your writing style. So for example, I'm writing a daily email to my newsletter with practical and actionable tips or teaching complex topics step by step. You wanna describe your audience. So are you writing for marketing professionals or business owners, are they tax savvy or are they beginners? What voice and tone are you going to use? So you're going to, are you going to write in a warm and approachable tone? Is it going to be professional? Is it going to be informal? And also, how are you going to describe complex topics in everyday language? Or is it okay to use jargon and technical terms? Or you can just simply select use custom instructions and just paste in some custom instructions here. This feature could be quite useful if you're a ghost writer or if perhaps you're writing for a company that has a particular style or a particular tone of voice. So as an example here is one of the biggest creators on LinkedIn, Justin Welsh. So I could potentially take one of his posts and I could head back over to Claude. And obviously I'm not plagiarizing him here or anything. I'm just simply using his uh, content and analyzing his particular style. So in this case, I'm just gonna paste in the text content and I'm gonna click create style. And let's see what Claude thinks of Justin Welsh's. So in this case, Claude has said that Justin writes strategic motivational content with concise, actionable orientated communications. And of course I can edit this to make it more strategic or motivational and so on. So basically, if you are writing social media content for your business and you want it to sound differently to how you write for yourself, that's one way you could use Claude, just simply train it on some content that matches your business's tone of voice. Or if you're a ghost writer, you could train the content on the work of the person that you're writing content for. This feature by Claude reminds me of a feature that another AI writing tool has. So Grammarly. Grammarly is a tool that I featured loads on this channel. So do check out my videos. Anyway, one feature that Grammarly has is you can use it to bang off canned responses to generic emails. So for example, this person here sent me in a pitch asking if I was accepting guest contributors on my site. Now, I usually just ignore these emails, to be honest, but I'm going to show you uh, how we could use Grammarly and how we could use Claude to come up with a canned response. So I'm going to click on the uh, Grammarly icon or the Grammarly plus icon, and I'm going to say write a rejection. Now, I believe Grammarly generates its AI responses uh, via a chat GPT wrapper. So I have a response here. Thank you for reaching out. After cons careful consideration, I've decided to decline your offer. And Grammarly has pasted this just at the bottom of this email. So I could potentially just send this to this person. It's written in a casual tone of voice. And of course I could change it to neutral, formal, personable, and so on. I'm more interested in seeing what Claude can come up with based on the writing that I've trained it on. So I'm gonna paste in the pitch and I'm just gonna put in a short prompt. So reject this pitch. And of course I've selected the uh, style that I've coded with Claude. So this is trained in my own writing. I'm going to click the upload button. 
Now, Claude is going to craft a response that firmly but professionally rejects this suspicious pitch. Dear Shane, picture that scene in the usual suspects where verbal Kint's coffee shop drops and shatters. That moment of crystal clarity when and so on. So basically, it's given a really descriptive uh, response to this pitch. Let's cut straight to the final act. I must decline your offer. Now, clearly, that's quite a creative response. Certainly not one I take the time to send. But you can see how if I took the time to train Claude on a tone of voice document for my company or for my content, I could use this to quickly and easily generate responses, emails and other types of documents. If you're going to use this new cloud feature, use it for ghostwriting, use it for your social media posts, use it for your blog posts, use it for company documents, use it for client work. Basically, you could create a few different instances of cloud trained for whatever it is that you need help with. And I think you'll find that the outputs are much better than what you'll get with the generic version of Claude. Now, I've other videos on the channel where I cover writing and creating content with AI, so check them out. And if you have questions about Claude or other AI tools, let me know in the comments section below.